Hello, welcome to another beer review from 1001 Beers You Must Try Before You Die. Uh, today I have a beer from England. Uh, again, I'm doing my supermarket specials. The ones I got from the supermarket, this one is I bought in Waitrose. Uh, first brew in 2005. It's 5% and it is Bath Ales Wild Hair. Now this is an interesting one. This was, it uh, uh, doesn't say it's on here anymore, but the objective was, was to be... Um, uh, a certified organic ale or beer so that's what it was done it doesn't say anything about that now it says uh, a wonderful wholesome golden pale ale with fresh citrus hoppy aroma and dry bitter finish it says we brew wild hair using the finest Maris Otter pale malt and first gold hops these give wild hair its lovely crisp and full flavoured taste which we designed to be dry but not harsh now that's interesting, they actually list what malt and which hops they use on the bottle. That's really interesting information, that's really good information. Um, the design is, is, a, is a classic design, it's very, very distinctive. Uh, I got a picture of exactly a wild hair there going across it. Um, and yeah, down, it's down from Bathway. So uh, the brewery has now been bought recently by St. Austell, I believe. So um, let's, uh, let's crack this open. I don't think they're going to stop making them, do they? Right. The tasting notes, in fact, the tasting notes in the book are exactly the tasting notes on this bottle, so that's very nice and consistent. I'm not even reading them again. Now, I've had this before. Uh, I haven't had it for a while, but I know I do like it. So I'll put that as a little, little uh, caveat there. Let's get the whole lot out there. It's not bottle conditioned. Let's have the whole lot there. Right. So... Very much straw coloured here, a uh, bit of carbonation that's sort of whizzing around the bottle there. So not the bottle, the glass. Um, the head is dissipating, but it's huge bubbles. It's not a tight head at all. It's a really, really big, big bubbly head. Um, so let's go for the aroma. It smells, yeah, citrusy, hoppy, um, but not overly hoppy. So, um, but quite fresh smelling. Right, let's go for the taste. Cheers. Mm. It got it's got almost a grapefruity citrusy taste to it. The, the first gold hops really add a lovely, lovely flavour to this. This is a really well balanced beer. It just tastes of summer, I think, this beer actually. Um we are now in the summer in England here, although it is getting a bit dark and it's been raining a bit today. We've had lovely weather. But this really is a summer beer. Although I drink I drink it all year round. Mm. Really lovely taste. The aftertaste is beautiful. Um, the head, I mean, the head is gone now, but that's fine. Really, really tasty beer. Um, quite sweet. A little bit. It's almost like grapefruity, honey kind of taste in there. Um, but the the combination of the malt and the hops are lovely. Um, this is a truly, really easy drinking beer. I mean, you can tell it's five percent because it has got that extra bit of flavour to it. But it is really, really tasty. Um, I really like this beer. Um, it's a good all-rounder. I don't, I don't know anyone who's had this who doesn't like it. So This will work for people who are into their hoppy beers, but also people who are into their golden owls, and, who, and actually people who don't like really, really hoppy beers either. This is a really good middle ground beer. Um, so I highly recommend this, although I want to go and drink the rest of this on my own now. So, um, have you had this beer? I'm going to end this beer review because it's just too nice. I've got nothing else to say about this other than it's just a lovely, beautiful beer. Um, so have you seen? Have you had this beer before? You, so you can buy it in Waitrose. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you for another beer review soon.